Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As you create more notebooks and add more and more content to your notebooks, it becomes increasingly important that you keep your material organized and easy to locate. Another feature that OneNote provides to help you achieve these goals is called tagging. Tags are visual identifiers used to identify content that fits into specific categories. Tags help you organize your content, remember important tasks, and even locate specific content based on the tags attached to it. You can attach tags to any content in OneNote for categories such as highlight to highlight important content, password to identify where passwords appear in your notebooks, and schedule meeting to remind yourself to schedule a meeting around certain content. OneNote includes several built-in tags, but you can modify any built-in tag and even create your own custom tags. Let's take a look at how to do this. To apply a tag, first select the content on the page in the notebook that you wish to tag. Let's go ahead and switch back to our meeting section. And during this meeting, we took some notes and identified something that we're going to need to do. So we're going to highlight that text. Then select the Home tab in the ribbon and look in the Tags group here. And what we want is the Tags drop-down. Now you can use the scroll bars to scroll through, but it's really easier if you click the More button here to reveal the entire drop-down. You can then scroll through the list and apply one of the tags by simply clicking on the tag of your choice. Now the small icon to the left of the tag names in the drop-down will appear to the left of the newly tagged content. Let's say we want to apply to do. We'll give that a click. We'll look down here and just to the left and now we have that little icon that has appeared. Now let's take a look at how we locate content that's been tagged in your notebooks. We can do that by clicking the Find Tags button in the Tags group. Now that's a toggle button that will turn the visibility of the Tags pane that we see on the right both on and off as needed. In the Tags pane, you can use the Group Tags by drop-down to change how the tags you've assigned to content are grouped and displayed in the content window below. You can group the display of tags by tag name, section, title, date, and note text. Now you can also choose to display only tags that have not been checked as completed by selecting the checkbox for show only unchecked items. And when that's checked then, only the items that have not been marked as done will show up. At the bottom of the pane, you can use the search drop-down to choose where to conduct your search. You can search this page group only, this section, this notebook, all notebooks. You can also search for things like this week's notes, last week's notes, and we'll choose all notebooks. Then you just click on the tag of your choice and OneNote will jump directly to that tagged content. Here's one right here. Now as you work with the tags, you can also click the Refresh Results button at the bottom of the pane to display any changes that you've made right here. So if you are changing and filtering or sorting, you can refresh the results there. Now if the tag that you have assigned requires action on your part, such as the to do tag that we have applied here, or call back for example, you can click the small checkbox to the left of the tag in the pane or on the page to mark the task as done. This little checkbox right here or right over here. When you click it in one of those two areas, it will change it in both of the areas. Now in the future, as you're searching for tags, if the Show Only Unchecked Items checkbox is checked, as we have it right now, 
then that content will not appear in the search results because it's been checked. So if I go down here and click Refresh Results, you'll see that it's gone. Now you can also click the Create Summary Page button at the bottom of the pane. And when you do, OneNote will create a new page that summarizes all of your tags, which can be used as sort of a master to-do list. Let's go ahead and undo that for right now. Let's look at removing a tag. To remove a tag, first select the content to which a tag has already been applied. Let's go back to our meeting section here. And here is the content where we've applied that tag. Now, with that selected, we'll go back up into the Tags group and use the drop-down. And this time, we'll select Remove Tag, and it will be removed. You can customize the tags that come included with OneNote, and even create your own custom tags if you wish. In the Tags drop-down in the Tags group of the ribbon, click to select Customize Tags and that will launch the Customize Tags dialog box that we see here. You can change the order of the display of the tags in the Tags group by clicking to select the tag, and then clicking either the up or down arrow here to move the tag name in the list. You can also click the Remove button, which is this X button right here, to delete a tag from the list if you want to. Now if you wish to modify an existing tag, click or tap to select it, and then click the Modify Tag button at the bottom to launch the Modify Tag dialog box. And here you can make any changes you desire, such as changing the name of the tag, you can change the symbol used by using the drop down here, and choosing one of those. You can also change the font color and the highlight color to really kind of customize that look. To accept the changes that you've made, you just click OK. To create a new tag, click the New Tag button at the bottom of the Customize Tags dialog box. This time, OneNote will launch the New Tag dialog box which works in the same way as the Modify Tag dialog box. In this case, you just add the name, then you choose a symbol for it. So for example, we might want a tag called Buy for things that we need to purchase. Then we can use the symbol drop-down, and we can select a symbol for that. Again, we can choose a font color that we like, and even a highlight color if we really wanted one, and then we can click OK. When we do that, the new tag will immediately appear in the list and then can be used for tagging your content. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.